Dear brothers and sisters, through the spirit of St. Augustine, this is a homily for the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Both in the first and gospel readings, we see the people who seek bread that satisfies only their biological needs. More particularly, the crowd in the gospel reading seeks Christ with flimsy reasons such as to get more bread to eat. Reflecting on these readings, we may ask ourselves this vital question. Why do we seek Christ in our life today? Therefore, with right reasons, let's seek Christ in our daily life. This is simply because he gives us the bread of life so as to have eternal life. In a more general way, famine, drought, and other natural calamities affect largely food security in any given region or country. Since man came into being, he has ever faced this problem. First and foremost, as seen in the first reading, where the people of Israel in the desert, they don't have more food to sustain them. Furthermore, the absence of food makes them to start murmuring and even regretting why they left Egypt. Indeed, when there is no food or inadequate food in any given family, there will be no peace and tranquility. As a matter of fact, food is among the basic needs for us. Hence, the sons of Israel had justified reasons to seek food, but they used wrong means, that is, murmuring instead of making their point in a better way and acceptable. Nevertheless, God, who is merciful, loving, and compassionate, satisfies their hunger by giving them dinner in form of quails and breakfast in form of manna. To us also, whenever we want to communicate our needs, do we have a better way of communicating or we murmur like the Israelites in this passage? With right reasons and justified ways, let's seek God to come to our aid. Turning to the Gospel of today, which is a continuation of last Sunday's passage, on this 18th Sunday, we discover the true reasons why Christ performed the multiplication of bread. Even though the crowd seems not to have understood the signs done by Jesus Christ, in simple terms, they seek Christ with wrong reasons. Why do I say so? Because there are two valid reasons why the crowd seeks Christ according to this passage. One, the absence of Christ. Two, the absence of bread. Let us start with the first reason, which is Christ was absent among them. When the crowd had eaten and were satisfied, they realized that Christ was no longer with them. What to do then? His absence impels the crowd to cross the other side of the sea and lake with the intention to find him. They successfully crossed the sea and found Christ on the other side of the lake. Whenever we feel the absence of Christ in our life, do we seek him and how? We are called to cross a few obstacles in order to find Christ who is found in our innermost being. In order to achieve that, there are some spiritual exercises such as meditation and contemplation that can help us to come into contact with Christ and establish a deeper relationship with him. Otherwise, 
it was the same absence of God that the people of Israel felt while at the desert, which was seen by the absence of bread. Generally, to seek God is not a one-day event, but a lifelong process. As St. Augustine says, seek God so that you may find him, to find him so that you may search for him more and more. The second reason why the crowd searched for Christ is the absence of bread. They had eaten to their satisfaction and even some food remained. Probably they searched for Christ so as to eat again the twelve baskets that remained. Here, the crowd has some hunger for more bread, the bread that satisfies bodily needs. This reason makes the crowd to cross the sea in order to get more bread. Today, when we don't have food at the table, we may seek employment or other means to get it. But it's much better to involve Christ in our daily endeavors. What is the reaction of Christ towards the crowd? Of course, in this passage, Christ engages in dialogue with the crowd with the aim of teaching them. Indeed, Christ desires to correct their understanding about the multiplication of bread. It was truly a sign that pointed to the real meaning and the effects of the bread of life. For instance, previously, the crowd ate loaves of bread, but they felt hungry again and that is why they followed Christ. On the other hand, Christ makes them to understand that the bread they ate was a sign pointing to the real bread of life. That is to say, where normal bread stops to satisfy us, the bread of life continues to sustain us, and even more importantly, it gives us eternal life. The bread of life is what we call today the sacrament of the Eucharist. To conclude, to seek Christ is a lifelong journey that requires faith, trust, acceptance, and love for Christ that we seek. Today, we find some Christians who move from one church to another seeking miracles. But Christ reminds us that he is the gift from heaven and we are called to accept, love, and believe in him. One of the necessary conditions and also the first step is to move from where we are, cross a few obstacles, and the other side, we shall find Christ waiting for us. Let us seek Christ with right reasons that we may earn eternal life. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.